Okay, in this example, we're going to look at how we can create an assembly featuring three blocks that will be bolted together and adding the fasteners to the assembly and how to mate them all together. To begin with, we need the parts that we're going to bolt together. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to simply use three flat blocks that are inch and a half square by a half inch thick with a through hole for the bolt. To start out, we're going to create a new part and we'll hit extruded boss base and select the top plane then create a center point rectangle and this will give us our inch and a half by inch and a half square we'll set our dimensions and finish our sketch we'll give it our height of 0.5 finish our extrusion and now we'll pick this top surface and sketch the location for our hole. So we'll simply drop a point on the center. And finish our sketch. And now we'll go over to Hole Wizard. And we're going to create a through hole to support a 3 eighths, uh, 3 eighths bolt. So we're going to set our type to... Uh, Drill sizes, we're going to want to be using uh, inch, that's our model here. And for typical clearance for a 3 8 bolt, we'll give it a 16th of clearance, which would be a 7 16th uh, hole size. So we'll scroll through and find 7 16 There's 3 8 so it's a little bit bigger. There's 7 16 We want this to be a through hole, so we'll say through all. And we don't need to worry about countersinks or any other special options. We'll select position and select the top surface and then click on our point that we already created and simply say OK. And so now we have a uh, hole through the part that will support a 3 8 16 bolt. And I'm going to uh, just hide our previous sketch so we don't see it. And of course we got to save this as something. Uh, we'll just call this uh, sample 2A. And now uh, we're going to create an assembly, new assembly. And we're going to place our blocks in here. And we want to place three of them. So if we use the little safety pin, we can place them all at once. So click one, two, and three. And uh, say OK. And now we want to make these blocks together. They're going to be right on top of each other, centrally aligned through the hole. So We'll come over here to assembly and click mate. I'm going to click these surfaces first of all to get these aligned. I'll keep them from rotating. I'm going to place one on top of the other one now with our mates. And notice it's defaulting to a coincident mate, and that's just fine. Uh, SolidWorks is pretty smart to select the mates that you want. And then finally, do some concentric mating. Place these box one on top of the other. Now those are mated together, but there's no bolts. And obviously in the real world, um, they won't just stick together because we've placed them there. We need bolts to hold them together. So I've downloaded the correct bolts from Master Car already, so I won't demo how to do that. However, uh, what I will show you is how to figure out what length of bolt you will need. And we do this by placing your washers and your nut first. And then from that, you can measure the length of bolt that will be required. So I'm going to insert some components here. Go down to Browse. And I'm going to bring in the flat washers. Okay. And we need two of these, so I'll use the safety pin again to bring in two. And I'm going to insert component again. And browse. And I'm going to bring in the hex nut, 3816. Always make sure when you're selecting your hex nuts, you uh, select the correct size. A um, very common mistake is to specify a 3 8 16 bolt and a 3 8 24 hex nut. And of course, those won't assemble when you get them in the real world. They'll assemble just fine in SolidWorks. Now I want to take and place one washer on top of the assembly. So we'll do that with a coincident mate. And now we'll do concentric. Get that on top there. And same thing on the bottom. We'll do a coincident mate here. 
and that will make them concentric as well. I'm not mating the central planes of the fasteners, so you'll notice that if you were to uh, drag on this, that the fasteners can spin, but I'm usually not concerned about that. Not an issue. Finally, let's get our hex knot at the bottom. We'll place that down here. Coincident. And I always find hex knots a little tough from uh, McMaster because they actually have the helix in them, and it's hard to find a cylindrical surface to concentrically mate. And so a little trick I found, if you actually pick the, the bevel or chamfer here, that is um, cylindrical. So if you pick that and you click the cylinder over here, it will give you a concentric mate. So that's a little trick I've learned over the years. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is we need to put our bolt in place. And we need to know how long the bolt's going to be. Now, of course, I've already I've already checked this and figured this out, but uh, if this was from scratch, this would be uh, something you'd need to figure out. So under Evaluate, I'm going to pick the Measure tool, and I'm going to pick the top surface of this washer and the bottom surface of the nut. And you'll notice here that it's just under 2 inches. It's 1.99 inch. And I don't want to pick a bolt that's exactly 2 inches. It'll just barely fit, barely have enough thread. So I'm, we'll go up to the next size, which would be a 3 8 16 by 2 and a quarter inch long bolt. And so that's what we'll bring in here. So finally, uh, come back to assembly and insert components. And we will browse for that uh, hex head cap screw, 3 8 16, 2 and a quarter. We'll drop that in. And we mate that up. We'll start with a coincident mate between the underside of the bolt and the top of the threads, if, if or rather the top of the washer. If that ever comes in backwards, you just click this, it flips around which way the coincident mate goes. Of course, it came in the way we wanted it, so we'll just accept that. And finally, we do the concentric mate between the washer and the bolt. And click done with the mates. And we'll finally notice that you have a uh, bolt assembly that goes right through the blocks, and you have enough threads at the end uh, to be able to get the nut on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.